Hello dear ones, welcome to your English class. This is lesson 9, Memories are made of buttermilk, module 1. From this module, you will learn some new words and their meanings. The first word is buttermilk. This is a wonderful drink that we all Indians like to drink. The liquid that remains after butter is churned from milk is called as buttermilk. In Malayalam, we call it moil or sambaram. Wooden churner or mattu. This is a wooden machine used for blending or churning food items. Usually, we use this to blend or smash pulses and grains. Buttermilk churner. Now this is a machine that separates butter from milk by shaking the milk. This machine is being used mostly in villages and in olden times. Nowadays we use this modern churner as you can see in the picture. A modern machine used to churn or blend food items. Crinkled means broke into small lines or wrinkles. In the lesson, you will come across this word to say that the grandmother's beautiful face crinkled into a smile. Coiled means pass round and round tightly. In the lesson, you will come across this word where it says the grandmother held the two ends of a rope that was coiled around the butter churner. Making the milk give up its butter. Now this is a process of churning out the butter from the milk as you can see in the picture. The rhythmic movement of the hands by holding the ropes around the churner Mixy, a food mixer or blender. Foam, bubbles formed like in soapy water or fizzy drinks. In the picture you can see that the butter has foamed on top of the milk. Lumps, large pieces. In this picture you can see large pieces of butter. Cumin or jiragam in our local language. This spice is usually used for garnishing food items. Pudina or mint leaves. This is a herbal plant used for cooking. Mishti dahi. Now this item is a Bengali dish. Otherwise we call it as thick curd. Pushcart vendor, a person who sells drinks etc. on a pushing cart, as you can see in the picture. Children, your assignment is to read the lesson and find these words. When you come across these words, you can underline them and read the whole lesson once again with more comprehension. Thank you.